Hey guys, Luke here. Um, I'm gonna make a video for you today. Um, first, I'm gonna tell you what it's gonna be about and quitting dip. Um, yeah, I'm quitting soon, maybe. Um, I promised my mom if I got any sort of diesel, I'd quit. And, um, I'm looking for a 67 Cummins right now. I found two that I like, that I'd like to call on. And, uh, yeah. So, what would happen to the channel after that? Um, it's kind of up in the air, um, I'd like to get a GoPro and just do driving vlogs, shit like that, and, uh, yeah, um, so, when I quit dipping, I'll be driving more, or, I'll be driving, period, I guess, <coughs> but, until then, I'm gonna be dipping. I really don't know which one I want to do, but since I haven't done it on camera before, Copenhagen Wintergreen. Yeah. So, got a lot of different choice. <coughs> Head gloves. Probably camera up with. Spit. Oh, yeah. But the rest came in. Hmm. Not my favorite dip. Sound quick. Quick. Go it on. No. I've been outside already. You haven't had anything to eat or drink. <coughs> Shit. But yeah. <coughs> Shit. Picking my nose in the camera. Whatever. Um, yeah. I've been bored lately as usual. Looking for jobs and shit still. And I think, I think finally, <coughs> we're gonna be able to go do hay. Um, next week. Because it's the only four day period that's dry and that's somewhat warm. But yeah. We're gonna be doing hay then. And uh, yeah. Maybe. We'll have to see how it's about Hold on. Yeah, the scotch is uncomfortable. Whatever. Um, yeah. More to why I'm quitting dip. 
Um, like oh, Junkie said, they put the warning label on here for a reason. There's two sides to each argument. Are those warning labels true? We don't know. Do we want to find out? Some of us do, some of us don't. It just depends on the receiving end of whoever it is. And, I mean, is it going to be my last dip? No. I guarantee it isn't. I guarantee I'm going to dip more out of high school. After I turn 18. I'm just fortunate enough to have a parent that really doesn't give a shit if I dip or not. Because she knows that <laughs> I could be doing a whole hell of a lot worse. And she's seen that with my school. And she sees me dipping and she's like, that's not bad compared to what them kids do. And I say, I don't. That's why I don't feel anything like I'm doing something bad when I dip. Because kids in my school do a hell of a lot worse. But I'm not just talking weed, I'm talking worse shit. And weed I'm fine with. I don't really give a shit. I don't smoke it myself, but. Some other stuff I want to do with the channel when I quit dipping is, uh, I don't know. Other than driving vlogs, maybe fixing shit on the truck vlogs or something like that. Work videos. But when I do the driving vlog, it's not going to be on this tablet, it's going to be on GoPro. And if my dog is ever going to get his brain and going to figure out how not to wrap himself up. Here. I swear he wants to go outside every five minutes. This is me off sometimes. Yeah. Um, what else? Going back to school in September, of course. So, two months away. Two and a half. Yeah, it's gonna be exciting. Maybe gonna try to make some money and if I find a fucking job, make money, get my license. Um, get a fifteen hundred dollar truck <laughs> until I get <coughs> a diesel, or if I get money soon enough, there is a 6-2, oh god, what is it, I gotta hear my phone some more, it's here somewhere, pretty sure, Eighty four K ten with the six two. Yeah. Seventeen hundred dollars. And all it needs is a starter, which isn't that much. This thing I have the tools for it. Won't be that hard either. Seeing I have experience doing that shit, it won't be hard.
Um, maybe me and my mom have talked about this too. Getting a dealer's license for vehicles and going to auctions and buying, fixing, repairing, or doing whatever it needs and turning around and selling it. Um, do videos on that. If a car has a problem, I'll show you guys how to fix it. I'm not the best mechanic in the world, but I'm not the worst. All I have to do is look at it a couple times and figure it out what's wrong. Maybe if I have to replace the injectors on the laser, I'll show you how to do that. <laughs> um, yeah, because blazer isn't going to last much longer. I had to say it. Not in our hands, at least. It either needs new injector, new injectors or new transmission because it loses power. The spark plugs are alright. The spark plug wires are, are alright. I might be talking out of my ass, but... I know one or two things. Anyways, this is going to end it. Um, Copenhagen Wintergreen, final review of it. Um, I'm going to line it up and I'll show you the can design. Um, so yeah, Copenhagen, long cut, Wintergreen. Yeah, at freshcoat.com. You got all the things here. Um, tax class M, net weight. 1.2 ounces, 34.02 grams, U.S. Smokeless Tobacco Company, Nashville, Tennessee, 3703, they have their number, and Copenhagen Long Cut, Wintergreen, and some shit there, warning label, front of the can, I like Copenhagen's design on their cans, um, it's got CW, when in Copenhagen. Um, satisfaction since 1822, Copenhagen Long Copenhagen. Um, yeah. Better than. Fuck. Grizzlies. Can design. It's a cool design, I like the bear, but it's too bland. I like their dark winter green can design more. And the drink of the day is, as usual, no, not Gatorade. It's actually lemonade. I think I drink more lemonade and Gatorade than I eat food throughout the day. So this is going to end it here. Um, see y'all later. Yeah, pretty much it. A uh, video might be coming soon. I don't know. We'll see how I feel. See it.